Hello, Namaste. It's me, Manoj Kumar Sir, and uh, today again I'm going to solve one questions related to the vector. And these questions already asked in 2069 R, and this is very very important questions. So let's solve this question. Okay, in the given figure, PQRS is a rectangle. PQRS is a rectangle. Prove vectorically that PR PR is equals to QS. Okay, we have to prove that in the given, what we can write given? PQRS is a rectangle. Rectangle and PR and QS, PR and QS are F2 diagonals. Two diagonals. Simply we can write this. Given. How to prove? What we have to prove here? PR is equal to QS. We have to prove. We have to prove it vectorically. So now proof. Very easy. First of all, PR vector. Two. Find PR vector. So PR vector is equal to PR vector is equal to what we can write? PQ vector plus RS. No. Sorry, QR. QR, yes. PQ vector plus QR vector. PQ, uh, uh, PR vector is equal to what we can write? PQ vector plus QR vector. Now we can do squaring on both sides. Here is what rules we used? Triangle law of vector addition. Triangle law of vector addition. Triangle law of vector addition. Okay? So now squaring on both sides. Squaring on both sides. Squaring on both sides means PR vector whole square is equal to PQ vector plus QR vector whole square. <coughs> Okay, now here what? Vector sign will remove. PR square only remains here. PR square. Now A plus B whole square formula. A square. Vector sign already removes. A square because square removes the vector sign. A square plus 2AB. 2 PQ vector dot QR vector plus B A square means QR whole square. So now PQ vector, uh, sorry, PQ A square plus QR square. Keep it one plus plus into two into PQ vector dot QR vector. PQ vector dot QR vector. In rectangle, each angle is 90 degree. So their dot product is what? Zero. PQ vector dot QR vector. PQ vector dot QR vector is zero. Why? Because angle between them are 90 degree. So here we can write zero. Therefore, PR square is equal to we can write PQ square plus QR square. And in this way, we can say equation. So why this portion is zero? Why? Because PQ vector perpendicular to QR vector. They are perpendicular. That's why their dot product is zero. So now QS vector. Similarly, you have to find QS vector. So now here I'm going to solve Q, QS vector. Okay? QS vector. So while looking figure, QS vector is just what we can write. Here we have the Q S vector. QS vector is equal to if you go Q P vector plus P S vector. Q P vector plus P S vector. And some students are thinking, sir, uh, yes, here QS vector is equal to QR vector plus uh, RS vector. Also, we can write. Yes, that also you can write. In the, that way also you can solve. There is no problem. I am taking here QS vector is equal to Q P vector plus P S vector. So Q P vector. If you write PQ then minus PQ vector plus PS vector. Here is the PS vector. PS vector and QR vector are equal. Why? Opposite sides of rectangles are equal. Then in the place of PS vector, I write here QR vector in the place of PS QR vector. Why? What is the reason? Opposite sides of rectangles are equal. So you can write here opposite sides of reason. Opposite, okay, sides of, okay, it's more, uh, rectangle are equal also, you can write, is the reason, both sides of rectangles are equal, you can write, okay, so now QS vector is equal to, first of all, QR vector right here, minus PQ vector right here, and again write, squaring on both sides, again do what? 
squaring on both sides. Squaring, squaring on both sides. Squaring on both sides. Then QS vector whole square is equals to QR vector minus PQ vector whole square. Okay. So now here vector sign will remove. Now A minus B whole square. A square minus 2 QR vector dot PQ vector plus B square means PQ square. Okay. So now uh, first of all here you can write here first PQ vector is here PQ vector plus here QR sorry here not PQ vector here we have PQ square plus QR square and this becomes 0 minus 2 into 0 why QR vector dot PQ vector again okay. again look uh, QR vector dot PQ vector they are 90 degree angle between them that's why their dot product again 0 this portion again 0 therefore we can write QS square is equal to PQ square plus QR square equations 2 from equations 1 and 2 okay PR square also same value and PQ square also has same value that's why from equations 1 and 2 from equation 1 and 2 we can write here PR square is equal to QS square now square square will remove therefore what we can write? PR is equal to QS. In this way, we can prove and thank you very much for watching this video. And don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. And if you have any problem, you can comment and please, please, please subscribe my channel. So now here, uh, we have here a small mistake here. Small mistake here. So I have to say Purva, thank you very much. And uh, this boy said yes here. Here PQ square given. Here QR square is given here. QR square, but I wrote here QR vector. That's why this is mistake. So here is the square we have to write. This is the square, and this is also our square. Okay. Thank you very much, Purva. Thank you. Thank you so much.